everyone, welcome back to One Awesome Autistic. I'm Lee, I'm autistic and I also have ADHD. This week I wanted to talk about a topic that some people love and some people hate. And that is exercise. Now, I have to admit that I'm in the hate it camp when it comes to exercise. I've never been one to exercise, I was never one to enjoy PE at school, I just don't like it. So if you guys have any tips for me into how to get myself motivated or any way that I can enjoy exercise, pop it in the comments below for me so that I can give some new a try. Now I find it like impossible to get motivated to do exercise and I don't enjoy exercise when I actually do it as well. It makes me feel sweaty and uncomfortable and gross so I just I don't like it even if it's just a quick 10 minute exercise but I have come across a couple of things one of them which I've actually started for now one I plan to in the future so stay tuned because that's what I'm going to talk about today you'll often hear a lot of people you know people online doctors other health people anybody that's into fitness and stuff like that will all talk about the benefits of exercise but you know what they're all right unfortunately they are all correct and as annoying as that is but exercise is good for you in many ways and I just wanted to go over four ways in particular that exercise can be beneficial for autistic people a lot of autistic people have problems with sleep whether that is getting to sleep, waking up during the night, being restless during the night, waking up early, what have you. Sleep problems are, seem to be a common issue. I have sleep problems, always have my entire life. But exercise can be beneficial for those issues. Just doing a little bit of exercise every day, it can just, it, it just helps you feel a bit more tired, it just uses up that energy that you're not using on anything else and so therefore you can get a little bit better sleep at night and all four things that I'm talking about kind of all intertwine with each other as well. A big part of being autistic is the anxiety that comes with it and exercise can help expel that anxiety. It's one of the things where if you go through any therapies like I tried CBT and the big thing with that was to do exercise to expel the energy that then would be taken up by the anxiety sort of. Now if you can combine exercise with being outdoors, so a little bit of walking, cycling, running, jogging, that kind of thing, you're also going to get the benefits of being outside and getting sunlight, so you get the vitamins from the sun on your skin, obviously it's particularly sunny out there, don't forget sunscreen as well for your health but also getting some fresh air as well and just getting you outside into a new environment not stuck in your house all day like I'm doing a lot of recently unfortunately and this also ties in with like mental health issues as well I suffer with depression and to release some more sort of like happy hormones and endorphins and things like that exercise is one of the ways that you can do that naturally so a little bit of exercise every day can just help to keep those demons away just for a little bit and it just can help ease those symptoms for you. And lastly, exercise can help regulate our digestive system. Getting up and moving rather than being sat down all day, or laid down all day, can help move your digestive system around. And gut issues is very common with a lot of autistic people. Again, this is something I suffer with and I've noticed that the more inactive I am, the more I have these issues. I might have all four of these issues to be honest with you. And lately I've been very inactive. I used to have an active job so I would be like eight hours or so a day on my feet, up and down ladders and all that kind of thing. That used to get me my exercise. Since I've been unemployed I am not moving around as much. I've put a little bit of weight on like around my midsection. You can see it a little bit in my face. It's a bit of weight that I'm not happy with having, so I'd like to get rid of it. So that's one of the reasons I have started doing a little bit of exercise. And my gut issues have been increasing recently, which I talked about in my latest vlog as well. So to help with those issues, I have started to try and get moving around a little bit more, and I'll tell you how I've done this. Now, 
when my boyfriend's off work and he's got a day off, he will get me outside. We will go out for 20 minutes, half an hour, even if it's just to go walk around and I get distracted by us talking while we're walking and that kind of thing. So that's a way for me to get outside and moving about on Thursdays. But that's only like a couple of days of the week. I need to get moving the other five days as well. And this is one of the ways that I have found. And I've printed them out and cut them out, but it is these. And this is from a website called weareundefeatable.co.uk. So I'll stick that link in below. And this is the getting started section which is for those in particular who don't do any exercise at all and this is a very very simple way to get back into just moving around you have different sections of these um, and they have all these different bit ways to just get moving around and this is the, what's called the five and five and this means you pick five out of all of these exercises and you do each one for a minute each so you're doing five exercises in five minutes so that is it's doable it is very very doable and i don't know if you can see from the pictures but some of these you can do choose to do sitting down or if you have less mobility or balance issues or anything like that you can do some of these exercises sitting down and choose five of these and there's the ones you're going to do in the day at the end of the printout, there's this as well, which is just a little chat. So you can cut out those little pictures and choose your five and stick them on. My plan with this is to laminate it and stick some Velcro on the back. And then that way I can mix and match what I'm going to do so I'm not doing the same five day after day after day. I can choose different ones to do depending on what I feel like doing that day. So this I have started recently and it's been great so far, it's very quick and easy and I can do it in times where in the morning while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil to make my cup of tea and you know I might have some bread in the toaster to make toast for breakfast, while I'm waiting for that I can do some of these. If I don't manage to do the full five at that time, well then I can do a couple later on as well and just break it up if I don't feel like doing the five all in one go but typically I will do all five together I'll do it when if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have a bath and I'm waiting for the bath to run very easy time for me to do these I'm not doing anything while I'm waiting for my bath to run bath takes 10 minutes to run five minutes doing these simple and that is one easy way to get back into it now for something a little bit more challenge, one thing that I found which is something that I'm hoping to do in the future is the couch to 5k challenge. Now that sounds very very heavy and it sounds like a lot and a lot of exercise but it's not because you can tailor it a little bit more to your abilities and your needs. So the couch to 5k is an aim to get you being able to run 5k. Doesn't mean you have to go and apply to be in a 5k run somewhere or anything like that it's just your own personal ability to be able to run that because it's a doable amount for anybody who is physically capable of running obviously if you're not physically capable of running this stuff isn't going to apply to you and um, the couch to 5k it gives you a timetable you only do it three days a week and that's it i suppose you could actually add in an extra day if you want to but it's designed so that you run have a break run have a break day so that you're giving your body chance to recover you're giving your legs your feet your muscles and everything a chance to rest and recover so you don't injure yourself and the thing the way that you can tailor it is it says week one do it this way so it'll be like you walk briskly for five minutes and then you'll run for a minute and then you'll walk for two minutes kind of thing run for a minute walk two minutes and you do that for about 20 minutes and that's it that is the easy way it starts off obviously it gets harder as it progresses but you don't have to go straight from week one to week two you can decide to do week one for like three or four weeks if you want and do it more as a monthly thing so it could be month one month two doing it how you feel comfortable in doing it if you don't feel ready to progress on to the next week which is obviously going to be slightly harder you don't have to 
There's also an app as well. So you download the app and there is some celebrities on there and things like that who will motivate you. Now, I've not used that yet because obviously I've not started this yet. So I don't know whether that is helpful or not, but it might be worth giving it a go. If not, you could just, you know, put music on or whatever, have like yourself a little running timetable playlist, something like that, to keep you motivated and going. You don't even have to do it outside. Obviously, it's better if you do it outside because, again, sunlight and fresh air and things like that. But when it gets to winter and the weather's not as nice and you might not want to go outside running because it's too it down, it's snowing or whatever, if you have a treadmill or you've got the money to be able to buy a treadmill, you could do it indoors. You could do it on a treadmill instead. That's something that I'm thinking about investing in in the future once I have the money for it. Is a treadmill or a bike or something indoors to make it easier for me to be able to exercise as I obviously don't go outside that much. And those are a couple of things that I found that are just easy ways to start exercising. When I tried looking at different ways to start exercising, there are also some videos on YouTube if you just kind of search in YouTube for like easy at home exercise routines. You just people that do five minute quick routines, ten minute quick routines. But they're a little bit too strenuous for the ability that I have at the moment, particularly because I have issues with the muscles surrounding my knees. A lot of those kind of exercises are things like squats and, you know, jumping from squatting positions and those kind of things. And I'm not currently able to do those with my legs as they cause me to remain small pit. But if you have that ability, there are also those kinds of videos as well that you can exercise along to. And they're also quite helpful. If you're currently not very active and you decide to give either of those things a go, let me know, pop it in the comments below, send me a message, what have you, let me know how it goes, keep me updated on, on how it's going for you as well, hopefully I'll be able to do some kind of like updated video in the future when I'm a little bit more active to kind of show you guys my exercise routine, probably in a vlog or something like that, and if you want to see more videos from me, Click subscribe and the bell icon, you'll be notified when I post more videos. I've got the bonus video coming up at the beginning of next week that possibly maybe a few weeks worth of bonus videos. So if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when those videos are out. And that's all from me this week, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.